Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here. It's our 20th GCC a higher revision video for those trying to secure a C and B on the LXL GCC paper. We're doing straight line graphs. As always, this isn't in-depth revision um, or teaching the topic, should I say. It's for revision purposes to remind you of the topics and then practice exam questions. Take the notes down I do in the examples in the start, then make sure you try the exam questions yourself and mark them with my answers. So, let's start off with um, an example straight away with this one. So, example one, you you can be asked to complete a table of values for uh, a straight line. So here, the straight line we're given, y is equal to 2x add 5, and we're given a table, and we're told x is negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2. We're asked to complete the table for two marks and then plot the table for the other mark. Now, just uh, first things first, um, let's put in easy numbers first. So when x is 0, y is 5. When x is 1, 2 multiplied by 1 is 2, add 5 is 7. Then put in uh, 2 here. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, add 5 is 9. Now you can see the sequence is going up in 2s, so it will go down in 2s. So this one's going to be 3. Rather than playing around with negatives here and trying to work that out and getting confused, do the positive numbers, the 0 and the positives, and work your way back. So now we're going to plot each of these. Now remember, x means across, and y is up or down. Okay, so let's plot these. Now, really important you spot this here. Two squares is worth one along the bottom, but only one little square is worth one along here. They've done that to trick you. Don't fall for the trick. So let's plot zero with uh, five, zero across, five up there. One across, seven up. One across, seven up. Don't fall for the error with the scale. Two across, nine up. Two across, nine up. And going backwards, negative 1 with 3, negative 1 back with 3, and negative 2 back with 1 up, negative 2 back, 1 up, there's our straight line. And you can see, you'd be able to tell if it was a mistake because it wouldn't be a straight line. You draw a line through it, you're done. Okay, uh, another example here. Imagine they gave you this straight line equation and they said to plot it on the axes given. What would you do then? Well, there's no table of values to fill in. Now, in this case, all you really need is you need two points, two coordinates to draw this. So, you want to um, find an x and a y that work for this. So, you want to find an x so that when you double it and find a y so when you treble it and add them together, you get 12. I would always do something fairly straightforward here. I would imagine x was 0. Let's pick x to be 0. If x was 0, that would be gone. And we'd have 3y would be 12. So y would be equal to 4. So x is 0 and y as y is 4 is one of the points. Then I would imagine, imagine now y was 0. If y was 0, 2x would be 12, so x would be equal to 6. And we can now plot that. So x is 0, 0 across with 4 up, there we go. And 6 across with 0 up, there we go. And there's our straight line between those two. So all you need is two pairs of coordinates to draw a straight line. So they're the two cases. Now, much more often it's that case. Sometimes they'll give you the table, sometimes they won't. Occasionally it can be a complicated case like this. But just find two coordinates, an x and a y, that make 12. And an x and a y, another x and a y, that make 12. And then draw a line between them and you've got it. So let's have a go at a few exam questions. Each time... Pause the video, try it yourself, and then mark it against mine. So in five seconds, I'll go through this one. Pause. Okay, so I always said put in the positive numbers. 2 times 2 is 4. Take away 3 is 1. 2 times 3 is 6. Take away 3 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8. Take away 3 is 5. You can see everything's going up in twos, so it goes down in twos that therefore would be down 2 to negative 5. Plot these. Two squares are worth 1 going across. Uh, one square is worth 1 going up or down. So all we've got to do is plot these. 
plot 0 with negative, uh, let's plot negative 1, so 1 back with negative 5, 1 back with negative 5, no, nothing across and 3 down, so nothing across and 3 down, 1 across, 1 down, 2 across, 1 up, 3 across, 3 up, 4 across, 5 up. It should make a perfect straight line. If it hasn't, you've made a mistake. Draw a line through it. You're done. You've got your four marks. Next question. Pause. I'll go through in five seconds. Okay, so we've got the equation y is 2x plus 1. So what we do is we put in the positive numbers. 2 multiplied by 1 is 2. Add 1 is 3. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4. Add 1 is 5. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6, add 1 is 7. They're going up in 1s, so, uh, sorry, in 2s, so they'll go down in 2s. This would be negative 3. Plotting this, 2 back with 3 down, 2 back with 3 down, 1 back with 1 down, 1 back, 1 down, 0 across, 1 up, 0 across, 1 up, 1 across, 3 up, 2 across, 5 up, and 3 across, 7 up, 3 across, 7 up made a perfect straight line and draw that line through them. Okay, this is slightly different, but it's very very straightforward. Use your graph to find the value of y when x is negative 1.5. Just use when x is negative 1.5, which is here, draw a line down to it and read across, and you can see that y must be equal to negative 2. A bit like where it's a bit like when we use a scatter diagram and a line of best fit, very similar. Now find the value of x when y is 6. When y is 6, that's up here. Let's draw a line across from y is 6 and draw a line down. You can see that's in between 2 and 3, so x would be equal to 2.5. Done. OK, next one. Pause. I'll go through in 5 seconds. OK, we're not given a table here, but we're asked to do our x from negative 1 to 3. So let's let's draw ourselves a little table, why not? There's our x and there's our y. We're going negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we're doing our y numbers. So let's start with 0. 3 times 0 is 0. Take away 2 is negative 2. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 take away 2 is 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Take away 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. Take away 2 is 7. They're going up in threes, so they go down in threes. That must be negative five. All you've got to do is plot this now. One back, five down. Nothing across, two down. One across, one up. One across, one up. Two across, four up. So two here to four. Three across, seven up. Three across, seven up. It's a perfect straight line again. That means we know we've done it right. Four easy marks. Should, should just be a bit more careful there, actually, just like that. The okay, next one, pause, have a go. Okay, you might have found this one slightly more difficult because it's got negatives. Same principle, let's do the exact same principle. Draw a table, here's my x, here's my y. I want to go from negative 2 to 4. So negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Like that, okay? So, let's start with the zero. Don't start down here at negative. So, two times zero is nothing. Three take away nothing is three. Two times one is two. Three take away two is one. Now we do it with two. Two times two is four. Three take away four is negative one. Now I think that's enough to start doing the pattern. You see, as you go along here, it's going down in two. So the next one must be negative three the next one must be negative 5. So if it's going down in 2's this way, it must be going up in 2's this way, so this one must be 5, this one must be 7. Now we just plot them. Okay, so we just plot these as we see them like that. So let me group that. Let me make it small so it's not in our way. So negative 2 with 7. 2 back, uh, 1, 2 back with 7, there we go. 1 back with 5, there we go. 0 across with 3, there we go. 1 across with 1. 2 across with negative 1. 3 across with negative 3. And 4 across with negative 5. 
and again we formed a perfect straight line. If it if you didn't have that, you know you made a mistake. Okay, this one now. Pause. Have a go. Okay, again we don't have a table, so draw one. There's our x. There's our y. We want to go from negative two to four. So negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to start with the easy numbers, the numbers that we can multiply by a half. So I'm going to start with zero. Half times zero is, uh, a half times zero is zero, add three would be three. I'm going to then go to two, just because it's easier. A half times two is one, one add three is four. Then I'm going to try four, a half times four is two, two add three is five. Okay, so back to negative two, you see every two they're jumping up by one, so this one then must go down by one to negative two. We can check that, half multiplied by negative two is negative one, negative one add three would be negative two. Now what is it in here? Well, you, it must be, because it's going up the same amount, it must be three and a half, it must be four and a half, and here it must be negative, uh, sorry, it must be, um, sorry, this should have been negative, um, I think I've just made a mistake here in this one, sorry, that should have obviously been two, I don't know why I wrote negative two, that should have been a two there, so this one here should have been two and a half, okay? Now I could have got those as well, just by doing, let's say for this one, 1 multiplied by a half is a half, add 3 is 3 and a half. This one, 3 multiplied by half is 1.5, add 3 is 4 and a half. And this one, a half multiplied by negative 1 is negative a half, negative a half, add 3 is 2 and a half. Now I can just plot these. So negative 2 with 2, negative 2 with 2, there we go, negative 1 uh, with 2 and a half, negative 1 with 2 and a half, like that, 0 with 3, 1 with 3 and a half, 2 with 4, 3 with 4 and a half, and 4 with 5, and again it makes us a straight line that we're looking for. Okay, last one, pause and have a go. We're trying to draw x plus y is equal to 5. Okay, so if we're trying to draw x plus y is equal to 5, Remember, I could do a table and stuff, but here, if I can just find two coordinates that make that work, that will be fine. Now, can I find an x and a y? If x was equal to 0, y would be 5 by definition, and if y was 0, x would be 5 to make this work. So I could just plot that there with a 5 over here. Now, the problem is 5 is not on my scale, so I have to find another one. Can I find an x and a y that work? Well, imagine if x was 3 y would be 2 to add up to 5. So 3 with 2. And there we go, I've got two points and therefore I've got myself the line that I'm looking for. And we're done for this video. Hope you found that useful.